Hi all. Um, I was asked how to make a link between the Linux CNC software and the, e the VFD uh, from a Chinese uh, source on eBay. Uh, so I collapsed uh, many information and I uh, want to share with you uh, the detail of that so uh, you will be able to make the same thing. So first thing, <coughs> the, the VFD I have is this one. The name uh, it's come from uh, Hong Kong and uh, it's a uh, Y and A group limited and the name is a uh, Yu Yang inverter. Uh, maybe you can read the the name here. And <coughs> this inverter is uh, able to to drive the spindle there. So you can see the spindle on my CNC. And um, there is there is many possibilities for for that, but uh, there is a sketch on, on the on this manual. So maybe the sketch is very little, but you can see on this sketch that from this side <coughs> here, you can control uh, the VFD from an external source. But there is a concern. The concern is the fact that uh, uh, Linux CNC is working with a breakout board, and the breakout board is only 5 volt, and the system um, on on the uh, VFD is uh, a system that need uh, 10 volts so i i uh, did search on the uh, website on linux cnc and i find a post and um, it is this one i print the post who give um, a sketch of uh, what it is possible to do and that you that you need to understand is the, the part here is the parallel port buffer or the breakout board is already installed on the machine but this one, uh, the low pass filter, something like that, should be uh, created to uh, to make possible the link between the Linux CNC and uh, and uh, the VFD. And, and this, uh, let's say this, the strange box, uh, have a sketch, and this sketch is this one, and uh, it's based on two things. The first one is uh, um, that we call um, an uh, bidirectional optocoupler here <coughs> and uh, this side of the circuit uh, is what we call uh, a low pass filter and we call, you can see that uh, there is some resistors uh, in, the, in as an input and as the output so this one is created just to protect uh, this chip from having too, mu too much power and this one also is for protecting uh, the things but this <coughs> this configuration and this design does not work with my installation and with my software so i have to find a better solution and the better solution was this one i create uh, this uh, this thing so uh, the only differences there is uh, between the two the two design is the fact that we still have the isolator we still have the low pass filter but we add uh, between them uh, an inverter and uh, <coughs> this inverter uh, is just put there to be sure that uh, uh, the inductance of the system is always good so uh, it, it works like that on, on my system so you can see that <coughs> the signal here is the, the ground here is the signal from the breakout board this one is a plus 12 volt coming from a, a power supply unit then you have a resistor here. This uh, this side of the of the sketch uh, should not be taken account, and this one uh, also not. You you have the value, and it's very easy uh, to to create. It's a very simple board. You can see uh, the detail uh, of the um, the inverter I create with uh, this uh, this part number I, I had in my in my shop. And you have also the detail here for the, for the explanation and the way I make uh, the the inverter. The, the other thing is also the, the optocoupler. It's very simple um, things. I I had also in my in my shop, so uh, I didn't buy them. So I, I work with those components, but a component similar to, to those, those one would be okay. And you can see the sketch here. And the other trade, this one is a Siemens. Uh, but the other trainer uh, would work and just the same thing for the, for the fair chill. Uh, <coughs> that I can do more on this video. 
so I can show you the way I implemented on a machine uh, this sketch with the cable and also uh, with the inverter there. So uh, all the electronic on my machine is on one side and it's on a this box. So uh, I will have to open the box and uh, I will be back in a, in a while. So I'm back uh, guy. Uh, the electronic cabinet was open uh, and uh, the front door is removed and that I just realized uh, is the fact that I didn't mention uh, the name of the connection on the on the sketch so I'm just uh, go back to the sketch uh, that I created uh, you can see on the on the on this uh, on this sketch so the global uh, uh, the global design. So here we have the plus 12 volts. Here we have the output of the breakout board with a normal signal. Uh, this one is the <coughs> ground signal and the output of uh, the sketch is this one. ACM is uh, in the lower side, the VI is in the middle and the VR or the 10 volts in is this way. And so it is a, a direct link to the sketch uh, we have for the inverter here. So on the left side, you can see, I guess, the same uh, connection on the VFD. So if we go inside the electronic cabinet, we can see uh, these th things. So first, you have here this board. Uh, is the same that the sketch uh, we, we, we saw just before. So this cable is the plus 12 volt. This cable is the ground. And maybe you can see the two little ships on it, on, on a board I created in a very simple way. And <clears throat> you can see maybe there uh, the the very small quantity of component and uh, that I, I can explain is uh, this lower connection here is VR the next one is VI and the last one is ACM so <coughs> the in the input is here the blue cable you can see here the blue cable is coming from the breakout board the breakout board is just there and the outside of the of the system uh, is with three wire. So the the yellow wire is the VI. Uh, the green, uh, no, the 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 red one is the uh, ACM, and the last one, the orange one, is the VR. So it's the outside of the system. So they are getting inside the, the VFD. So if we are going close to the VFD we can see the connection there. So you have the connection here on the VFD and maybe I can put more light. So with more light it will be easier to see. So you can see the cable arriving on the VFD and if I go a little bit, maybe you can see the name of each, uh, the color and the name of each uh, output of the system. So it's the way I work with the with this system. I created a very simple, uh, only two, two or three resistors you can see here, and uh, so the input, the output, uh, this part. Is getting to the to the VFD and uh, this one is coming from the power supply here so the last thing to see about um, the link between uh, EMC2 and, uh, and the VFD just there is the the setup uh, on the software so I, I will uh, close the door uh, start and uh, the PC and uh, to show you the, a little uh, set up about uh, the system. So I'm back, uh, uh, I start you know, the, 
and uh, the IT system and uh, you can see my, my screen and uh, I will launch uh, and show you where the setup is and the typical setup for the for this in, uh, sketch we created just uh, just before so you have a window um, a shortcut uh, or link um, to your CNC and folder and uh, when you open the CNC folder yeah you have many files and, <clears throat> and one file is called I guess you can see it uh, cnc.l so if you open it you have all the detail uh, about about uh, the file configuration and maybe I can zoom and uh, the way you have to set up a Linux CNC uh, is create here so it starts it's this code that's uh, create a setup for the machine so um, this one is very important to, to check uh, and to make uh, working the, the device and also the value uh, Created here uh, sh should be uh, should be posted. So maybe I can zoom. Try to zoom little bit, little less, and I think it's better like that. And I think the rest of the file is very very basic for the configuration for um, especially for the people who know this this kind of file. And uh, <coughs> there is no no unknown things for the rest. But uh, it's only this part that was created, and also uh, this line is here is uh, also important to create a link uh, between. Try to zoom a link between the spindle and um, the output of the breakout board. So uh, hope it is a help for you, and you can find very detailed information um, about that and um, see you for the next episode thanks guy